Hi, this is Dr. Ben Benham. I'm a board-certified dermatologist, and today I'm going to answer some questions about stem cells. What are stem cells? So, stem cells can come from many different sources. Uh, there are what we call embryonic stem cells as well as mesenchymal stem cells. Embryonic stem cells are not allowed in the United States. The cells that we use for stem cells are mesenchymal stem cells. These are stem cells from the human umbilical cord, from females from gestational age of 36 to 40 weeks. These are safe to be used in the United States and these are the cells that we use. What do we do with stem cells for hair restoration? So the stem cells are typically shipped overnight from a company that we order them from. Uh, and when they arrive to our office, we open the package up and we mix them with PRP. And once we mix them, basically we inject them into the scalp. The whole point is that the stem cells continuously release growth factors and cytokines and all of that help with damaged tissue. And in this case, the damaged tissue is the hair that's not growing out. So those cytokines and growth factors help restore and revitalize those dormant hairs and basically make them grow out. Uh, the stem cells last about 9 to 12 months in the body, so you're getting this continuous flow of new cytokines and growth factors that are continuously stimulating the growth and uh, the revitalization of these hair follicles on your scalp. How does the stem cell for hair restoration differ from PRP for hair restoration? So PRP, we uh, take your blood, centrifuge the blood, and concentrate the growth factors, and we inject the growth factors into the scalp. We have to do PRP multiple times at one month apart. The reason is because when we inject the PRP growth factors into the scalp, uh, it washes away over the next one month. So you constantly have to do this procedure in order to cause the hair to go from the dormant stage to the active growing phase. In contrast, we typically do stem cells just once and we wait about six months. The reason is because the stem cells live on your scalp for many, many, many months, about nine to 12 months, and they're continuously releasing these growth factors and cytokines. So you're getting this continuous release of growth factors where it's not being washed out in contrast with PRP. As a result, this is why we only need one session of stem cell compared to multiple sessions of PRP and this is why the stem cell in my opinion does much better with respect to hair growth because you're getting this continuous supply of cytokines and growth factors whereas in PRP is being washed out. Does Dr. Benham use derma rollers after doing a stem cell therapy? Yes. I am a big fan of derma, derma roller. After I inject the scalp with stem cells, uh, I use a 1.5 millimeter derma roller on the scalp to activate the growth factors uh, that, that we have just injected. Uh, and I think this makes a huge difference uh, with respect to the results that the patients get. Can I inject stem cells in the eyebrows? Yes, we have injected many patients' eyebrows with stem cells. It's a different protocol than we do for hair loss on the scalp, but it is very effective and it does work for patients as well.